Hi, are we as Christian believers allowed to put up Christmas trees? Watch this short video about it. I'm going to go over some passages, but I leave you to come up to the conclusion. And at the end, I will draw a parallel with the teaching that the Apostle Paul did. So be sure to watch the video to the end. Having been born in Holland, I was taught the history of Christmas, how it came about. Before the missionaries like Willy Brod came to Holland, the inhabitants used to believe in several idols, the main one being Wodan. Several names of these idols were used in the naming of our weekdays, like Friday, Sunday, Wednesday from Wodan himself. Now, during the winter, the days are very, very short, and during the summer, the days are very, very long. The days got shorter till about the end of December, and then they started getting longer again. To celebrate the start of the lengthening of the days, they would cut down an evergreen tree and light it up and then surround it. This is where the Christmas tree came from. If you read the Bible, you won't find a Christmas tree in there, or will you? Well, recently I read about what the pagans would do in Jeremiah 10, verse 2 through 5. Listen to this. Thus says the Lord, that would be a major endorsement, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, for the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen, with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. Well, that's quite something, isn't it? After this, we should all be careful not to be doing this. Don't learn the paths of the pagans. Don't do that. And then it perfectly describes what we do with the Christmas tree. We decorate it and put it in prominent place in our living rooms. It's the center of Christmas. And by the way, most likely Jesus wasn't even born on the 25th of December. And the believers didn't even celebrate Christmas till about 400 years after Christ. For more information on the time of the year when Christ was born, watch this video. Now, when I have asked Christians about this, the answer I've gotten is that no one celebrates a Christmas tree as an idol. It's just a decoration, and I can appreciate that. But it makes me still a bit uncomfortable. It reminds me of how God told the Jewish people to go to Jerusalem to the temple and celebrate him there three times a year. When the kingdom of Israel split in two, Jeroboam, who was the king of the northern part, didn't want his subjects to go down south to Jerusalem, and so he started his own religion and had each one worship God on top of their own mountains or high places. Now, imagine if you had to go to some other city in the USA three times a year, but they would save up a lot of money for that. It's one of the three tithes but they worship the Lord our God in their own way. So I promised at the end I would share a few passages that would apply to this. In Romans 14 and 1 Corinthians 8, the Apostle Paul talks about whether we should eat meat sacrificed to idols. He basically tells us to eat meat, but if someone makes it a point that it's sacrificed to idols, to abstain from it. The meat isn't the issue, the issue is causing your fellow brother or sister to stumble. So what I take away from this is that the Christmas tree is not a big deal by itself. What is the big deal is how it will impact my fellow brother and sister. So if someone is offended by a Christmas tree, it would probably be a good idea not to put a Christmas tree in front of them in my house. Not for my sake, but to be a servant to my brother and sister in Christ. However, if I come to a Christian's home and see them having a Christmas tree, I'm not going to assume that they're worshiping a demon there. The kingdom of God is not a matter of a Christmas tree, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. I got that application, by the way, from Romans 14 verse 17. I would love to hear your conclusion in the comments below. As long as you do this with righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, let's not make it into a food fight, however. So, may God bless you. Bye-bye.